a student is starting to prepare csat it is very difficult thing they can assess themselves like these are the topics this is the pattern this is the weak area for them this is the strong area for them so they can have a little idea practice practice the mock tests and the previous year question paper this can be the approach and this can be the resources do not go for materials bulky books every question is of equal marks there is no step marking here if a difficult question is there and you are devoting more and more time on it that is not going to fetch you more marks csat is very important do not ignore the csat paper try to prepare it as early as possible hello dear aspirants today we are diving into a crucial component of civil services preliminary examination the csat portion and specifically the maths part of it mastering gs is vital but without conquering csat the path to success remains blocked in the recent years many capable candidates have failed which reminds us of the unique importance that this exam holds to discuss all of this today we are joined by an esteemed faculty from vision ias brijesh sir sir we welcome you thank you mrigang sir before we discuss csat in detail i would like to know from you the importance of this examination yes it is very important and as you said why it is very important that uh, many students are failing in this paper and why many students are failing in this paper there are two sides of it one is upsc is making difficult paper another is students are not preparing well for it if a student fails one year is lost if a student is at borderline like a student is getting 65 to 70 marks just after the prelims that student is getting this idea that he or she is going to score around 65 70 marks so that student may feel he i am going to clear or i am not going to clear so that student will be in uncertainty because of that one month is lost for that student because every day that student will be looking after how much score i am getting from different answer keys and in the meantime the focus will not be 100% on mains preparation that is why to clear the csat with the confidence that is like you are getting 80 90 100 in csat paper that will make you feel confident enough yes i am clearing csat and i am also getting way above than the cut off marks in gs so because of these things preparing for csat is very important for students uh thank you sir thank you for answering that so what i understood is that csat will help us to move from uncertainty to certainty and sir for that i would like to know from you how should a candidate ideally start preparing for this exam see the first thing the first step in this direction would be the self assessment the self evaluation first what a student can do go for one or two previous year paper and try to attempt that paper in two hours time with the, with that a student can get this idea what are their strength what are their weaknesses after then a student can start preparing for csat so sir we know the importance of this examination and you also talked about how should we start preparing but uh, we would like to know from you what is the ideal time to start preparing for it and if you could also highlight the approach that we should use see uh, i would suggest the ideal time is like uh, as early as possible like it's 6 months 7 months left before prelims so what a student can do they can start like right now if they have not started it should not be like this way ki just before 1 month 2 month of the prelims a student is starting to prepare csat it is very difficult thing so i would suggest start like 
as early as possible. And if a student is from technical background, they may think of this, yeah, I can start late. I would suggest them also start early. Just try to assess yourself. Like a non-technical background student, they have to devote like more time as compared to technical background student. So what they can do, they can assess themselves. Like these are the topics, this is the pattern, this is the weak area for them, this is the strong area for them. So they can have a little idea. Correct. So I would suggest like do not leave it for the end, start as early as possible. Okay, sir. Sir, also uh, from students community side, it's a very obvious question and a very common one that what are the sources that we should refer for this exam and also if along with sources you could also talk about a little about the approach that one should follow. See, uh, what can be done for the sources thing. See, in UPSC preparation, the, the one thing that is very important is syllabus. But we cannot get much from the syllabus as per the CSAT things. What a student can do, a student can go for previous year questions. Previous year questions are very important in this direction. With the help of analysis of the previous year questions, a student can get this idea. What are different topics which are keep coming in the, pre, in the UPSC examination? So they can get that idea what are different topics and subtopics which are important for UPSC preparation. So like previous year questions are very important. With that one can get this idea about topics and subtopics and after them the next approach would be how to get the understanding, how to get the concept clarity. That can come from online videos offline classes or the peer group. So they can develop, they can have a very good concept clarity over those topics. And after then, what I would suggest, practice. Practice the mock tests and the previous year question paper. This can be the approach and this can be the resources. Thank you, sir. Thank you for comprehensively answering this question. Sir, another important point is, as they say that what is important is not just what you embrace, but also what you let go. So, sir, in this preparation, what do you think are the sources or approaches or techniques that a candidate must avoid? See, that is a very important question. Like uh, what we can avoid for the CSAT paper. First thing that is very important, we cannot over rely on shortcuts. Shortcuts are very important for SSC and banking exams, but it is not that important for UPSC exam. What we can do, we can rely on the concepts. The second thing which we can avoid is we cannot leave important areas. Some important topics like number system, percentages, averages, we cannot leave these topics because so many questions are coming from these topics. Even if you feel that these topics are difficult, then also we cannot leave these topics. We need to understand what are the basics. And the third thing I would suggest, do not go for materials, bulky books. So what a student can do, can go for previous year question papers, and try to go for mock tests. And if they want to clear their concept, they can go for online videos or they can go for offline classes. Okay, so thank you, sir. Thank you for answering, answering this question. Uh, what we have understood is the importance of the paper is that how should a candidate start preparing for it? What are the approaches? What are the sources? But sir, one crucial component is that a candidate has to balance CSAT preparation with the preparation of GS. In this regard, sir, how should you advise a candidate uh, to effectively manage time for both the papers? See, I have said it earlier also, start early. If you start early, you can get the time to balance the preparation of CSAT and GS. Like if you are starting the preparation of CSAT very late 
and in the meantime you get this idea you find this out you you are very weak in six act then it would be very difficult to manage the time because if you cannot clear the csat you cannot clear the cutoff you cannot write meals even if you are getting very good marks in gs so the first and foremost thing start early and start practicing mock tests like the time management problem you can see in the examination hall also like you are not able to manage the time you are not able to attempt more questions so what you can do you can practice few mock test few previous year question paper set with that you can get this idea from which part of csat i can start with if specifically if i talk about maths part so after giving so many mocks you might be having that idea in which part of the maths if uh, the topics you are comfortable with so start with the simple questions the topics from which you are very comfortable with that would boost your confidence and after then the next thing is very important do not spend too much time on one question because every question is of equal marks there is no step marking here if a difficult question is there and you are devoting more and more time on it that is not going to fetch you more marks marks are like same for every question so these things are very important for time management also sir building on the conversation uh, there are many myths that have been circulated or are circulating in the market uh, would you like to burst a few of them see there are few myths one myth is about technical background student like csat is very simple it is not that difficult for engineering background students but that is not the case it is being said that just to go for two three previous year papers attempt them just before the prelims and appear for the examination many students are failing in this so any one cannot take it lightly be it technical background be it non technical background and the second myth is about non technical background student that is maths part is very difficult for them they should not go for maths preparation in csat that is also a myth if a student is not preparing maths and not attempting a single question on maths in csat paper a student cannot qualify csat because we have seen the trend that is maths there are 30 to 40 questions are coming in this paper from maths part so one cannot avoid maths and with the practice maths can be understandable which is asked in csat paper so for non technical background student maths is important and it is not that difficult with the practice they can get the concept clarity okay so sir uh, but we are understanding that we need to maintain a balance in the in the paper itself also with respect to different sections different portions and topics and sub topics sir also although you have highlighted enough for non technical students but still it is a big myth it is a big problem it is a big uh, you know topic of conversation for non technical students that upsc is increasing the level of difficulty and it is more or less favorable in the for the candidates who come from technical background so for specifically for non technical students sir what would you like to tell them and if any words of motivation as well see the first thing the non technical background student they can do is start early start slow and try to build up the concept second thing they cannot ignore the important topics and if you feel ki these topics are important but they are difficult so what they can do they can start with the topics which are not that difficult like percentages averages these topics are not that difficult they can start with these topics and then they can jump on to number system and the basics of permutation combination and the time speed distance this way they can prepare this maths part and the third thing they can 
practice a lot. They should practice a lot. They can go for like, uh, I would suggest for uh, like this 25, 10 to 20 mock tests, they need to appear. Apart from that, five to seven years, previous years paper, they must do these things. And the last thing I would suggest, do not go for bulky books. If they want conceptual clarity, they can go for online tutorial or offline classes. With this, if they are devoting time for CSAT preparation and they have started early and if they are very sincere, definitely they will clear the CSAT paper. Thank you, sir. Thank you for comprehensively answering the question. And I'm sure that your words will definitely motivate the students, especially from non-technical background that this is a task which can be easily achievable. So, sir, uh, we are almost at the end of the conversation. Uh, before we conclude, uh, I would still like you to have a few words directly with our viewers. See, uh, the first thing I would say, CSAT is very important. Do not ignore the CSAT paper. Try to prepare it as early as possible. And the second thing, seek out help. If you feel that, this concept is not very clear to me. Seek out help. Try to watch online videos, tutorials, or even you can take offline classes. And the last thing, do not forget the previous year papers. At least five to seven years previous year papers you need to solve. And I would say all the best to the students who are going to appear for 2025. Thank you, sir. Thank you for joining us today and giving us your precious time. Thank you, Mrigang. So, as parents, I'm sure that today's conversation will guide you in your preparation for CSAT. For any information, details or help, please visit our website or reach any Vision IAS Centre across India. Thank you for joining us today. We'll see you very soon.